Okay, so my question is, I have a business that sell natural skincare, uh, pampering products. Um, we our target audience actually female that wants beautiful packaging and gorgeous product, especially for gift. Um, however, but we, what we also found is there's also a group of the customer who just want to use the product for personal use, but they don't want any packaging. So my question is, would it be better for me to add um, this division under my current business name to offer no packaging, um, bulk buying option, or would it be better to create in other business, have a different name and offering the same product that focus on without packaging and the bulk buying option? Which one would be better in your opinion? So Alex, you, you get the question, right? There's two different customers, right? We've got a low end and a top end. Do I keep it as one brand, do them yep. all, or two brands and do, do either one? Well, what do you reckon? Yeah, so number one, I'm not really big on um, brand names and rebranding and coming up with different brands because number one is an administrative nightmare, trying to handle multiple brands and whatnot. However, what um, what I love about what um, what you're saying is you, you have got a, a clear, um, you're very clear on your niches. Um, so what I'd like to um, advise you on is um, you really need to work out what these people really want. So going back to just my earlier conversation with the character, what do they really want, okay? So what I'm hearing is um, one of your um, niches, um, they, would, um, they would use your products as a gift idea. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Is that, yep. Sorry, yeah. So yep, and yep. and the other, yeah, and the other niche is obviously using the product by, uh, for themselves. So how I would this um, sort of uh, um, sort of uh, differentiate the two would be you need to be clear on people coming to you to buy the gifts as packaging. Um, they want to use your products to impress someone, right? So uh -huh. so they so so in your messaging uh, or in your branding um, is about um, you know giving your loved one something that they love or impress your clients or impress the people that you love, right? So you just need to be really clear on that messaging versus the people yep. uh, who want your products uh, just for skincare, right? Because they don't care about impressing uh, anyone else. They just want good skin, right? So um, so uh -huh. short answer to you, I don't I don't really have an opinion on whether, whether or not you should start a new brand and call it something else, um, but definitely you would want to build two different silos or what we call funnels uh, and drive the, the right traffic into those those silos uh, so that you know you uh, in your brand messaging you're you're honing into uh, what they want what they want their problems uh, and, and you're going to convert them that way. So Re Rebecca, just stay on the phone for a second. Alex, what what do you reckon though? Um, do you think you can have one brand and two very distinct audiences? Do you think that's does that is that detrimental? Doesn't matter. What do you reckon? I I don't I honestly I don't really think it matters a lot because um uh, i mean in an ideal world yes uh, you do want to i mean if i were in rebecca's shoes and i have got the resources i will go into creating two different brands uh, and create different identities visually and messaging and all that and just treat them as two distinct companies but if you're under resource and you're time poor and you know you don't really have the, the resources to go into building multiple brands what i would do is um st build a Build, build your company around the brand butter. So for example, if the, the packaging and the gift idea is your brand butter, um, build that and then create a little landing page or a little sub brand um, separate to the website for the skincare stuff. I mean, I think it's fair to say that most customers are not aware of half of the stuff we do anyway. So 100%. You, you could have one brand and you could put out a whole bunch of marketing to a high end client and talk in their That's language right. for their needs. Then you could put out a whole yeah. bunch of marketing to a low end client, talk about, and they're not even going to realize that you probably even like there might be a ten percent overlap. Half of the, like yeah. most of them are not even going to realize that you have a different product. They're going to find the one that best suits them. Hundred percent. To me, it's all in the execution, right? What what kind of effort, and time, and money is going to take for you to build a new brand and have new designs and all that stuff? So I would be just choosing as much current stuff as possible, and and just create different silos separate to the main brand and make sure the messaging is crystal clear and, crisp and and completely separate and just drive the right traffic because people are not looking at 
logos and brands and stuff they're just looking at the messaging and yeah. what's in it for them so you know if you hit the mark then you'll win i love what you just said um like it's all in the execution because i reckon that nails it right because you can have two brands and execute badly you could have one brand and execute badly right or mm-hmm. you know you, you could have one brand two products execute really well and it will work you know yeah. like you know, whether you have one entity or two is probably not the deal maker on whether this goes well. It's about your ability to communicate independently to the right audience. 